you come into this insane, massive franchise, and now we're here at the theater where they have the Oscars. What is that like for you? It's wild. This has got to be one of the biggest premieres I've been to. It's, uh, it's awesome, and I love seeing all these girls that I now personally know and consider friends all over the place and all over L.A. It's, it's incredible. You are part of many big franchises, though, my friend. You were also the voice of Anakin Skywalker. So you got Star Wars and you've got Pitch Perfect? It's true. It's actually funny. Um, they're doing a friends and family screening literally across the street at the El Cap right now of the new Star Wars movie. And I couldn't go to that because I was coming to this. So uh, I don't know. I, was, I, was, I wanted to know what time this was getting done. Maybe I could hop over there. But uh, I will see that in due time because uh, I, I would not want to be anywhere else but celebrating this film right now. It's nice to know where your loyalties lie. <laughs> I just said I want to be here. <laughs> what was it like to have Trish come in as the new director and this all-female cast working together behind the scenes and in front of the camera? Trish was great. Um, I, I, I uh, you know, I didn't know what to expect coming into it. They, they've been a family for many years now with, with uh, two successful movies, and uh, you just never know what to expect coming in. And, you know, obviously uh, the movie's not about me. It's about them, and, and I just wanted to come in and do my job and, and uh, in any way that I could to support them in, in the Bella's story. And uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it. Uh, I, I loved getting to know all these girls, and, um, you know, it was, a, it was a really, really fun experience for me.